This your boy Ola Hatch, you know what I'm saying? Coming straight from that Killerville, straight from that South Side, you know what I'm saying? I'm tuning in with my dog Charms, KBSC TV. If you if you don't know him, go look him up, go subscribe, you know what I'm saying? That shit like that. Charms, aka C Harms, you are now tuned in to yet another episode of KVSC TV. This one is kind of special, man. It got the homie with me. Tell the people your name and where you're from. If you don't know me, you know what I'm saying? My name is Ola Hatch, you know what I'm saying? I'm from South Carolina, Hartsville, aka Killerville. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the south side of Bottom. You know what I'm saying? South side shit, whole lot of SOE shit. Okay. So, um, so you're from the Ville, and you're from the South Side, man. Like, what was it like for you growing up? I mean, like, my life been a little bit more rough than everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Because we had it hard over here, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like go in the other neighborhood, you feel me? Gang banging, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shooting, a lot of this, a lot of that, you know? Yeah. So typical, typical hood shit. Typical hood shit. So... You're like you've never you never been anywhere else, like live somewhere else, you just the city. I mean, yeah, I moved to Vermont what like two thousand and sixteen, I moved to Vermont and I moved back home like the end of two thousand seventeen. Okay, what was that like for you, man? Just like a big change? Man, listen, that shit a whole lot of snow, a whole lot of cold. You only gonna see summertime about two months out of a year. So, you know. Yeah, but, definitely big difference from here. Yeah, big difference, big difference. So, like, would you would you say you you was in the streets early, or is that something you just kind of got into like a little later on in life? I mean, I was in the streets early since a jit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I've been out here. I've been out here since a little boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in this shit. Just so nothing that I just, you know what I'm saying? Woke up and said, oh, I'm just getting the streets. No, I, I mean, I just, you know what I'm saying? I've been into this shit, you know what I'm saying? Bad, man. So where did the name Ole Hatch come from? Because I know in the hood they call you Tink, right? Yeah. But, like, where did Ole Hatch come from? Um, Ola basically stands for bloody, you know what I'm saying? Um, On the Hatch part come from, you know what I'm saying? Recipe by... Rest in peace, my nigga Slim, you know what I'm saying? Um, he gave me that name, he had back, you know what I'm saying? Way, way, way back when I was little. Because that's all I used to fuck with and listen to was that Bootsy. I was on that Bootsy heavy, so you know what I'm saying? When I come through them boys, like, man, they go hatch, man. And so, you know what I'm saying? We just put the Ola in the front of it, bloody hatch, you feel me? Bet, okay. So, you know, to kind of speak on that a little bit, I take it you're, you're, you're affiliated, you yeah. know? With, with them guys, man. Has that been something that you've always had around you, or did it come later on? I always had around me, but I really ain't, you know what I'm saying, I got down with it until later on. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So what was, like, some of your influences with, with music? Would you say that you was, you know, uh, passionate about it earlier? Is it something you had to grow into, or the people around you got you into it? I mean, I basically I've been doing music for a long, 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 long time, but I just been off and on with it. Like way back in the day when I was like eight, nine, ten years old, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Be Fast. He's recording me on the tape, you know what I'm saying? Tape recorder. Hey, Tink man, get on this beat, freestyle on this beat, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. shit, I just get on the beat and freestyle for him, you know what I'm saying? That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's something them boys used to um, want me to do. Yeah. Right? Cause I got a real one. I know how to, you know what I'm saying. I just know how to flow on the beat. Bad yeah, man. Cause uh, we got some, we got some vintage footage with you and uh, and so we surged man on KVSC TV at the at the studio. What was that flow? Way back. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Way back. I've been, you know what I'm saying. I've been dipping and dabbing with this music shit. I've been doing it, and that it was like what? How many years ago? That like, yeah. Ten. Hell yeah. Probably about a decade ago. You, you was on it then. Yeah. Bad yeah, man. So. 
What's been up with Ole Hatch, man? It was this, the whole city was, and so we had the whole city on lock, man. And, you know, you had the little Red, Jewel, Trap, Kenna Roddy with the beats. What's been up with you, man? What's been going on? Man, like, well, you know, he's going to jail and this and that, this and that happened. But, you know what I'm saying? We still here, though. We still here, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, new music is coming. We just trying to upgrade our equipment. You see what I'm saying? So instead of us going to a studio, we record ourselves, and you know what I'm saying? So all the thing we're doing is trying to upgrade everything, get more new shit so we can have better quality, because we don't believe in going to no studio and spending our money. All right, in-house. Investing in ourselves. Yeah, so, so really, damn near everything that came out was in-house, right? Yeah, everything. That's what's up, I'm man. I'm gonna take it to the grade at Savannah shop for me, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? We, we did that shit ourselves. So, so give me a little history on SOE, man. Like, how did it start and who was there in the beginning? Like, SOE stands for Served Out Entertainment, you know, and like back in the day, I, I mean, I was a jit then, you know what I'm saying? Five, six, seven years old, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all just been seeing Served, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if people look up the definition of a, well, we start saying Serpent. And I'm pretty sure everybody know what a serpent is, a snake in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That's what, so we shorten it up and just say syrup, you know what I'm saying? But we but we don't necessarily use it as being a snake, you know what I'm saying? We just use it, we use it as like, it's just how you do, it's how you go about doing things. Yeah. Like, say, you know what I'm saying? Like, like real, real smooth, low key. And, exactly. And yeah. Like, damn, but that nigga on some syrup shit, you feel me? Cause you, right. you know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Okay, so who who was the, like the core members, the founding members in the beginning? I mean, like, she, um, me, Roll on the Trap, SOE Surge, SOE Biz, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, um, my nigga Savage Jane, I'm Free Savage, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, free the homie, man. It ain't just been one person that came up with this. It's, it's like all of us came up with this, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Bet, man. Oh, yeah, and my nigga Growl, too. Shot my nigga Growl, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was there with me and was putting everything together. You know what I'm saying? Really, um, shit, it, it was like, it was about to be like, SOE and certain out niggas. Then my nigga Grab was like, nah, shit, it be like SOE, like go back to the original days, like, cause this shit, cause we been seeing certain out entertainment, you know what I'm saying? So he like, nah, I'll take that shit back to the ENT. I like, yeah, you right, so that shit stuck there. Yeah, man. Like, and, and the one thing I could always say about, you know, SOE and the guys, man, regardless of what might go on, you know, inside, y'all have always stuck together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, always. My so it's like, how how important is loyalty to y'all? I mean, that shit, you know what I'm saying? That, that shit, right, they run a whole long way with us, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, I got friends who are more loyalty to me their own family members, you know what I'm saying? So that shit run deep with it. If we fall out about something, we're gonna fall out about it. We're gonna talk about it the next day and we're gonna leave it where it at, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna fall out, pull up, pull up pistols, trying to kill each other. No, we don't rock like that, you know what I'm saying? Right, and then on top of that, ain't nobody on the outside gonna really know what's going on either. Nah, cause we, cause we don't take it out far and we don't let people in our business like that. If we got something going on amongst each other, we gonna handle that shit amongst each other. You see what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't gonna go no deep. Okay, so I wanna talk about Take It to the Grave. Produced by the homie Ken Erotic. It's it's one of them it's one of them deep, like passionate, pain, personal tracks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how did you go about making that track, man? Like, when my nigga Ken sent me the beat, I'll just Sitting in my truck, I was just sitting there, just listen to the beat, listen to the beat, listen to the beat. I said, that thing, that shit came across my mind. There's a will, you know what I'm saying? And there's a way. And that shit stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? So I actually wrote the hook, but my verses on it, I freestyled my verses on it. Word. So is that like your, your approach to doing music? Are you a writer or do you like to kind of punch in? I, mean, uh, I like to punch in, cause I feel like it, um, if I got to ride it, I can't swag on the on the track like, How you want like to. I want to. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So that's why I let everything come off 
come off the top of the dome, you know what I'm saying? Because I can swag and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And then, you know, with, like, Savani shooting the video, that was a big deal for the hood. Yeah. That was a big deal, man, because you see what he went on to do. Yeah. As far as, like, working with Stunner, the baby, and all the artists, you know, that he worked with, are you still kind of in tune mm -hmm. with Savani? Yeah, I'm still in tune with him. Um, I probably talked to him probably about, I want to say, probably about a month ago. Me and him supposed to be um, talking about linking up, doing some more videos and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Bet, yeah, man. That's what it is. What's to come? Is there going to be more, like, because it's, okay, is SOE like a group? It, uh, it's more like a family. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, like when we come into the rap industry, we ain't, we ain't coming there as no group. We coming as individual individual artists, but the label is SOE. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, okay. So there's more to come than from Ole Hatch as a solo artist, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You uh kind of figured out what you gonna you gonna name the project? Is it gonna be an album or an EP? Probably, I'm gonna do a little EP. Kind of test the waters a little yeah. bit, see what's going on. Yeah, test the waters, see what's going on. I'm gonna focus. I ain't wanna give them no whole 16. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give them a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm gonna start with a little EP, see where that takes me. And if it do what I need to do, then I'm coming oh. with it. But there was a time, man, y'all dudes was dropping the video every week, man. Tell me, Tell me what it was like. Receiving that kind of that kind of love and like the height of what y'all had going on, man. Man, we love that shit, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, like we were just on the spree, man. Like we were just like the like the new no limit. Like we were just dropping, oh shit. We were just you know what I'm saying, dropping videos every week and shit. My bad, I ain't meant for y'all to see that, but you know, keep it keep it with me. But you know what I'm saying, we were just dropping videos every fucking week, man. Like so, like. It is more than, you got to have fun while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't enjoying yourself while you're while you doing it, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going you ain't gonna enjoy it. Like, it got to be something that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Something that you're going to have fun doing it. And that's what we do. When we shoot music videos, shit, we link up. Everybody get together, shit. We, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's fun. Bet, man. So I, I, I want to ask this question and uh, I want to be as honest and real as possible. Okay. So, you know, you, Lil Red popped out. Yep. And I'm sure everybody was kind of looking like, well, what happened to everybody else that was in SOE? Yeah, I mean. Was that was that like a strategic thing? Uh, was that like a plan that y'all cooked up? Or how did that I mean, go? Once we see how the crowd follow him, I mean, it like, it's, he young, you know what I'm saying? He on fire, you know what I'm saying? So let's back the little homie. Yeah, let's put the money on the little homie because he gonna pay it away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna pay it away. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like it, it is that people got to realize, you know what I'm saying? That everybody ain't ain't meant to come out and drop at the same time. Like somebody got to open up the doors for somebody. Everybody got to wait their turn. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody. Like I even pushed myself back. I even felt back myself. And invest into him because I know, I know what he can do. You know what I'm saying? I know how the crowd. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah, the crowd. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he went up too. So yeah. you know, betting on the young homie man definitely paid off. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, what role would you say you play in SOE? I mean, I play more like the businessman part. Like the more. Okay, well we need this. Well we gonna get this. Okay, well. You ready to shoot a music video? Okay, well, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of that. Like, I'm more like CEO, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I do music myself, now. don't get me wrong, but, you know, I just play the business role in it. So do you inspire to say, oh, that's almost like, you know, Baby, in a way. Like, he'll do music from time to time, but he's more in, the, like, handling the business. Yeah, exactly. So is that something you rather do than music? Yeah. Tell you guys on the truth, yeah. Cause I'm a businessman, you know. I know how to work. Anything with a dollar, you know, you know it, you know what I'm saying? That's me. So where do where do you feel like you learned that from, man? Cause it, hustling ain't 
Well, being a hustler ain't in everybody. No, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It you ain't. know. So, what would you accredit that trait to? I mean, like, you gotta look outside the box sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't like. You know what I'm saying? Trapping ain't ain't always what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look outside the box. And me being, and me moving to Vermont, like being around more white people, just seeing what they got going on, seeing how they handle their business, seeing how they run their business, I pick up game out there, you know? Yeah. So that would make me different, you know what I'm saying? Because right. it's all about a dollar, man. It's and then about. and then coming from, you know, your background, you said you didn't really have much. Oh, you no, definitely I wanted to. I ain't had shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't had a pot of fucking piss in. But you know what I'm saying? But see... You ain't got to stay like that, though. Yeah, you feel me? But see, you know what I'm saying? But compared to where I'm at now, that shit made me. Because, you know, I got my own shit. I got multiple vehicles, you know what I'm saying? I got money. You know what I'm saying? Like... Got the mud, just, though. Yeah. So what would, you, what would you say, man, like, to somebody looking to, you know, get it out the mud like yourself, man? What kind of discipline do you feel like need to be in place? Is it saving money? Is it getting out and meeting people? Like, what, what, did, what did it take? It's a little bit of both. Saving money, getting out there and meeting people, you know, you know what I'm saying? Being around people who actually run businesses and businesses successful, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I actually got my own business, a home improvement business, which you know that, I think you know that. Yeah. I got my own home improvement business, and, you know what I'm saying, like, I learned it from a white guy, a white dude, you know what I'm saying? I learned it from a white guy, he showed me the ropes, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said people that think more outside of, you know what I'm saying? The street shit, that ain't always it, you feel me? Yeah. But you know. It's like a... You know, in the Bible, it says there's a time for everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Bet, man. But see, um, I just want to um, throw this out there. People who grew up like me, like, don't never second guess yourself and down yourself and have low, and have low self-esteem in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because at one point in time, when I was young growing up, I had low self-esteem because I ain't had this and had that and had that. But I put my mind to it like, I'm gonna be something, and I'm gonna have something, and that's exactly what it, it came out to be. Facts. That's exactly what it came out to be. Like I, I ain't reached all of my goals yet, but I'm there. I'm trying right. To, I'm moving. Definitely. So a person in like your position, and then with the success that y'all have had collectively as a squad, man, I'm sure that come with, you know, not. Not so much hate, but negative energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to call it hate. Let's yeah. just say negative energy. Yeah. You know, how do you deal with that and, and still stay focused? In it? Because some people will lose track of what they got going on and crash. Yeah, and there been plenty of times where I done lost focus and then they crash. You know what I'm saying? But you got the haters going to be haters regardless. So if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing that. You got, you see what I'm saying? Like, somebody going to hate. Somebody going to hate. And... And me speaking, us coming from Hartsville, I feel like once we really got down in this music shit and start putting our feet on niggas' neck, like, I feel like the whole, like, damn near, I ain't gonna say the whole city, but the whole city threw off negative vibes towards us, you know what I'm saying? Which that shit, I liked it, you know what I'm saying? I liked it because that, that just showed me that, you know, that's so we we doing something. And I'm sure it's doing something, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Niggas hate you, they ain't got no reason to hate you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Feel me? So I'm just drinking on um, the top door, I got no little pineapples in. Cavassier, Hennessy, Tequila, Patron. Uh, having a good time. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So like now that y'all jumped out into the music game and you know, and elevated and was doing videos and getting that kind of attention. What was some of the things you learned about the music game that you didn't know before? There's a lot I knew about it, like, and salute KVSC TV for this, my nigga Charm, cause you put me in a, you put me in the right direction, like, for me going to get SOB certified, going to get the register with the Secretary of the State, like, I ain't knew nothing about that until you put me on game with it, you know what I'm saying? I respect that, you know what I'm saying? Bad man. Us coming from two different hoods, you know what I'm saying? But you're a real nigga. 
Facts, man. Likewise, my dude. Feelings mutual. So it's like moving forward, you know, what do you see for SOE? I mean, I see success. You know what I'm saying? I see success. You know what I'm saying? We got a little sit back right now because, you know what I'm saying? My little young nigga locked up, you know, but don't scratch it. More fire coming because you will be home soon. It's going to be so. a whole lot of. Whole lot of SOE shit. You gonna be little red, you know what I'm saying? I got my nephew, you know what I'm saying? SOE trail. He gas. He he already got a whole mixtape. We just ain't even released it yet, you know what I'm saying? Right. So we got some shit coming for the ass. Bet and then uh me and the homie Biz just collabed, did a video. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah I like that. Respect, respect, I like that, that right there. That boy, man. That boy got a nice pen on him, boy. Yeah, he do. And and see he he won the most Lyricals out the group, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got so much different shit that we can hit you with from all different type of angles. It's crazy. Yeah. We got, you know what I'm saying? Lil Red, straight drill music. SOE Biz got bars. Bars for days. <laughs> My nigga Ken Arati got bars for days. My nigga Trail got everything. bars. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, he he all, yeah, he all around player, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, My nigga yeah. Surge. He, he he gas, you know what I'm yeah, saying? He gonna take the club up. Yeah, everybody's got their own own swag. That's what I like about it. So, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want, we got it. So, how would you describe your style? My style is, I mean, more laid back, turn up, turn up too though, turn up too. Yeah, you 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 talk that bag talk and you yeah. get on that. Yeah, see, really, yeah. yeah, that's my swag, that bag talk. Cause, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm about. I'm all about a bag. Facts, man. Facts. So, you know, with the Carolinas doing what they doing, man, where do you see SOE fitting in? Listen. I see us coming soon. I see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, South Carolina, we up next. You know what I'm saying? But you can bet this and take this shit to the bank with you, take it to the grave with you. SOE is going to be one of the ones that going to be knocking down the doors. Yeah, bro, because I'm talking about, like, we got at least four major artists right now currently signed, and ain't no telling who working out a little something. You got Count Up going crazy, and you see him in pictures with, you know, Coach K and all kind of shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, salute little homie. Yeah, salute him, salute him. Who do you see moving around in the in the state right now, man, that you'd like to work with? My nigga with? PG Raw, I fought with PG. I can see me and him doing something. I can see me and him doing something. I like his, I like his swag. You know what I'm saying? Like how how he carry himself. You know what I'm saying? So I can see me and him doing something. You know. And okay. um, Lil Ray already got a song. Him and Kano, they got a song together. You know what I'm saying? So I know that bit. Gas. Yeah. Bad I definitely man. consider y'all. You know, some some major players in the area and potentially major players in the state, if not. The whole country, you know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all y'all work ethic and y'all creative and y'all stick together and it takes that. Yeah. So it was uh one particular video, I think it might have been the uh Trap Dreams, SOE Surge. Yeah. I saw everybody with the shirts on. Yeah. And uh I heard a lot of people talking about it, man. Is that something we can look forward to? Is there some SOE merch coming or uh yeah, all that coming soon, man. It coming soon. Everything coming soon. But yeah, I'm the search. If you seen the trap um and my nigga SOE search um Miss Video Trap Dreams, yeah, we got the shirt song, SOE. We got, you know what I'm saying, free OB on, on one sleeve, free yeah, hype on the home, you know what I'm saying? Real South Side nigga, so Yeah man. But yeah, we most definitely got some shit coming. Most definitely. Okay, so you know where can the people find y'all videos and, and music at? I mean she's Go look my name up, Ola Hatch. All my music videos will come up, you know what I'm saying? Or you can look up Lil Red, you know what I'm saying? All his shit will come up, SOE Surge, SOE Biz. Just go on YouTube, look us up, you know what I'm saying? We day. Yeah, with the numbers too. You know, we day. <laughs> Facts, man. So is there anything else you want to tell the people before we close out? Um, I don't think I'm tell man, get you a bag, man. No matter what, what your situation is, you you always got to look at it as you got somebody else going through worse. Man, just get you a bad man. Keep chasing after your dreams, man. And another thing, shout out to um, KVSC TV Charge, you know what I'm saying? Cause I rock that nigga the long way. Appreciate it, man. You know Appreciate it. Put, 
He put me in the right direction and a whole lot of shit that I ain't even knew shit about. I was just trying to jump into this shit and I ain't knew shit about it. But you know what I'm saying? My dog put me in the right direction, got me right. So Facts, you know, man. We got to you know what I'm saying? We got to encourage and educate each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how we grow. Each one teach one. Big facts, man. Yeah. So y'all know what it is, man. Here with the homie Ole Hatch. It's your boy Charms, aka C Harms, and this is KVSC TV. You dig? Yeah. It does a wood and there's a way. Gotta separate the real from the fame. A hundred ways to get paid.